Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, and we're back in 2021 with some Minecraft. Alright, uh, first episode before, or sorry, after, we have defeated the Ender Dragon. Uh, and we're going to do a little bit more sort of clean, quick episodes here. Um, I didn't want to keep doing episodes that were sort of stretching out an hour. Uh, so, sort of like what I said in the end of the last episode, um, there will be a couple of projects that we'll want to sort of tackle just to sort of round out our uh, world, I guess, here. Um, <laughs> you may also notice that uh, my levels have gone down to 25. Uh, no, I wasn't uh, doing any enchanting or anything like that. Um, like a fool, I re-entered the end dimension thinking... Uh, well, you know what, maybe my boots are there, maybe I just didn't look hard enough, and then sure enough, as I was exploring, um, of course, still being careful, so I didn't bring in anything that I didn't want to lose, ultimately. Um, but yeah, someone knocked me off. Uh, I fell far enough where fall damage was still a thing, lost all my 60 levels, and now I'm <laughs> trying to grind back up so that I can get some diamond boots enchanted and, and get them to never and all that sort of fun stuff. So, um, yeah, um, not, uh, not a fun time there for sure. But first thing that we're going to do is um, we're going to get some automation going here in our home base. And the first thing I wanted to do was start uh, doing the uh, sugar cane. Uh, we have a sugar cane farm. It's it's plentiful enough. Like I've been gathering it enough, and have plenty of sugar cane to make paper or sugar out of. Uh, actually, I did. <laughs> um, I may have made a bunch of paper. Anyway, yeah, the whole purpose of making the paper is because we have uh, Bert the second over there in uh, his little shack. I figured the best way of getting emeralds from him would be to create books. So cattle farm is fine and we have plenty of leather to go around uh, as you see there. Um, but I wanted to sort of get my stocks of the sugar cane up and I figured the best way of doing that while I'm sort of tooling around in the area would be to have an automatic sugar cane farm. So we'll start there. Uh, first couple of things we're going to need we need a couple of devices. Uh, so let's grab some iron because that'll be necessary. Um, I don't know, but you know what? We're going to grab some more uh, cobblestone because uh, the two things that we'll need will come in the way of observers and pistons. Uh, so we'll grab a little bit of redstone. Uh, and then we'll take a look at the crafting table. Uh, observers will take nether quartz, and that's fine. Uh, just need to find them. Observer. Okay, yeah. Just need nether quartz for that. And then the pistons will... I think we're good for pistons. Yeah, there they are. So I just need a... Um, iron ingot along with everything else. So we did bring up some nether quartz. Let's just grab it quickly um, because we're going to need a lot of observers and pistons. And the first thing we're going to start losing is redstone. So let's get it back because six observers won't be enough. gonna start chewing through some materials here and I may get some more materials off camera between episodes and whatnot but just to get things started okay so we have 16 observers which is plenty do we have enough oh we almost have enough for this I wanted 15 of both so let's do that and then we're at a redstone again It's a good thing we got plenty, and you know, with, with the I'm not too worried with the uh, pickaxe. We can certainly get more. Uh, so twelve, 
you know what? Let's go for a flat 16 bump. All right. So let's we'll put the redstone back. Uh, we'll get the redstone torches. And then we'll get all our other materials that we'll be using. Yes, kitty cat. Uh, oh, my redstone there. I was getting some stuff together for preparing. Uh, so you know, we don't need this done. Okay, let's. Um, we're getting to night, aren't we? And I'm not going to build in the middle of the night, but we will sort of mark out. I was thinking about sort of clearing out this bit of land here for our next projects. So let's get rid of the night, make sure that there are no creepers or any other mobs that will ruin our day. We'll just make sure that the coast is pretty much clear. Okay, so yeah, I figured that the sugarcane farm can just sort of We'll knock this cliff face back a little bit and we'll start our project up. Um, and I wanted to make it like 15 long. You can't make it longer, you make, can't make it stackable. Um, so we'll just sort of see how everything goes uh, once we get it going. Uh, and I may have to sort of time lapse and do whatever else in order to sort of make this go along in a little bit of a better clip. But first off, we'll just get rid of this stuff and then we'll sort of, we'll go over the process as it happens. All right, and the one thing I forgot to do was to get chests and hoppers. So now that we have that done, we can start by getting our resource uh, automation going. So first thing we want to do, uh, get a double chest going. Um, and that's fine. Uh, and then the next thing is we need a hopper. Going into the chest and we'll test that out by if we throw the block, oops. <laughs> so in there, okay, the block went into the chest, so we know that that is working fine. Uh, okay, and what we'll do is we're gonna carve out this section as well, just so that it'll make more sense once it's out. Two will be powered rails, same thing here. So we're laying down our track for, like I said, our resource gathering. So we have some powered rails. That will just go on the, each end. And then a redstone torch to go on each of them just to power them up. All right. And you know what? We'll do one more torch there. We're just lighting it up so that we don't have to worry about mobs spawning or anything like that. All right. Looking good. And now we'll come in with... Still going to use stone bricks for most of our sort of like building section. And this can come all the way down here. All right, so what we want to do is we want to see if this minecart, which we'll push to one end, not quite strong enough. So you know what, we're gonna put in one more powered rail on each end. It needs to go back and forth uninterrupted. Yeah, let's 
just throw it to the ground. It'll just go back and forth uninterrupted. I'll get it back for a moment. Okay, so that's our. It's our thing to gather the resources once it's done. So. Some more dirt here. Okay. So, what we want to do is it becoming night again? If it is, we'll quickly get rid of it, but for now, we need to... Nope. Not quite. This is the part where the sugar cane sits on, which is all fine and dandy. Uh, and we're still building up our sort of structure here. We're making it 15 wide. We can make it lighter if we wanted to, but for now, I want to just sort of leave it as such. Okay. Come. Yep, it is getting dark. Okay. Because uh, the next step, we want to make some staircases. Fifteen staircases, in fact. And, yep, it's dark enough. Let's just get rid of it. So these staircases are going to be the water trough for our sugar cane. You put one like that, and then continue to... All right, well, I put in all the water and stuff and then realized that I'm an idiot for not having started the, um, uh, the minecart. So let's fix that quickly. Uh, as long as we have enough room to push it to one end, that should be fine. So we've converted our minecart to a minecart with hopper. And we just need to place it on the track. And please move. There we go. All right. We've started our minecart so we can get the rest of this stuff back in place and continue on with the build. Sun's about to set again, but we've added um, our next platform. Um, Sugarcane's going to go onto these grass blocks here, but I've added some stone as the back and some jack o' lanterns for some lighting. And now it's time to put down our pistons. And they all go 
so that the piston is pointing towards where the sugar cane will be harvested. And then we have some more time before the sun sets. Uh, on top of those pistons, we put our observers and they're pointing Observers have these little face here, but they're going to be pointing out towards them, uh, towards the sugar cane as well, but you have to sort of put them in from behind. So we'll, nope, not quite down. And we need to do away with this layer as well, so we'll be back. So we've placed our observers and we put in some cobblestone behind the pistons. So here's where our redstone will come into play. So behind the observers where the floor of this cobblestone lays, we're just going to lay down some redstone wire, like so. And that should pretty much do it as far as the build is concerned. So let me switch over to uh, my glass and hopefully don't destroy any. Otherwise, I'll have to grab my silk touch. But I'll give you an idea of what the farm will be once everything is done. Put in some glass blocks here. The blocks will keep the sugar cane from leaving the area, which is what we do not want. So, ideally when you have sugar cane, it grows to a maximum of three high. So everything's good until it gets to... Can I do it? No, nope, not from here. I have to go up one more. So when your sugar cane goes three high, the observers see that it'll tell the pistons to fire, it will fire all the pistons at once, and then your sugar cane will sort of drop into this bed of, um, of soil, where the minecart will pick it up. Uh, it didn't pick up that one, so I'm hoping, but that's what the glass blocks are for. <laughs> they should be. Let's just make sure this all works before we continue on. So if we... There we go. And our glass. And we'll give it one final test. First, we'll make sure that the glass does reach its maximum height. There. So that, and then, yeah, the uh, sugar cane will disappear because the uh, minecart with the hopper can collect it through the dirt. And if we open this up, yep, we have our sugar cane here. Perfect. Everything is working. So all we need to do is plant and make sure the glass is in, and we're done. Other than, like, outside stuff, but we'll just continue on and make sure everything is where it needs to be.
right, so first of our projects done, our automatic sugarcane farm. Uh, so once it gets up to three high, it'll pistons will break the sugarcane, mine cart below will collect it, and it'll place it into that chest at the bottom. So nice and efficient, and like I said, once we're sort of doing other little projects in the area, um, it should fill up quite nicely. All right, guys, just uh, <laughs> was uh, going off camera just to uh, restock some supplies and didn't really get all that uh, far. Um, so full inventory, lots of uh, cobblestone to start smelting. Found some diamonds. Great. Another third of a stack. Can't hurt. Uh, lots of redstone, which I know we'll be using a lot more in the future. Uh, some lapis, an emerald. So yeah, just one branch of a branch mine and got more than enough stuff to keep ourselves going at least. Um, yeah, <laughs> good stuff. Lots of coal too. We're going to be burning through a lot of coal. I know I can probably be, be using um, blaze rods or actually, you know what, that might actually be a good idea. You can actually use blaze rods as a fuel source. I didn't even know about that until just recently. So let's, uh, uh, let's pull the glass. Let's do that. Let's... And what we'll do is we'll get a couple of blaze rods. We gotta sort of start making our building blocks, which like I said, I wanna use um, stone bricks. It tends to look the nicest as far as like a building is concerned, but we'll just sort of see how it goes for now. And we'll see how long that, uh, that sort of lasts. up and yep <laughs> we'll do the same thing here why not we have enough blaze rods if we need to go back to the to the fortress we will but uh, so far so good um, lots of materials lots of projects coming up in the future so you know whatever supplies we can get off camera we'll certainly do that anyway that was a little bit of a shorter uh, adventure uh, in our Minecraft world. Uh, just uh, like I said, knocking off a project here and there just to sort of see if we can sort of get a little bit more value to the land here. If you enjoyed the video, hit me up with the like button, leave a comment, and let me know how your 2021 is starting to shape up. Um, and subscribe to my channel for more mobile gaming goodness. I'm hoping to play a couple other games other than, you know, continue our little Minecraft adventure here. So if you want to see something else, check out the channel. There may be something just right for you. Until then, this has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.